Luca Congedo and you're watching from JS to Remote Sensing. This video tutorial is about the use of the semi-automatic classification plugin for QJS for calculating the length cover change. In particular, we are going to use Sentinel-2 images for 2017-2018 and we are going to perform a cloud mask and a mosaic. And this could be useful, for instance, for assessing the burnt area, or for assessing forest logging, or for uh, uh, detecting urban changes. So let's get started. The first step is to download the Sentinel-2 images. From the SCP menu, we can select Download Products here. In the main interface, we can uh, set the search area here from the search parameter and of course selecting the Sentinel-2 image in this tutorial. Remember to set your login data for the download services such as Sentinel-2. You can register for free from the Copernicus website. So for searching, selecting the map, uh, the coordinates, we can use this button here we can add with this button the OpenStreetMap layer to QJS. Here we can zoom to the area, the study area of this tutorial. In this case, uh, Rome. And in the main interface, we click this button here. And then in the map, with a left click uh, for the upper left corner and a right click for the lower right corner, we are setting here the search coordinates the search area. From the menu products we select Sentinel-2 and we set the range of dates. In this case the first image that we are going to download uh, is acquired on the 1st of January 2017 so we set here the dates. We are going also to enter the filter here which identify the products that we are going to download L1C underscore T33TG and we click find. As you can see the first image is uh, listed in the product list. We can uh, display the preview in the interface. We can see the zone of this image and the acquisition date. So this is the first image and we're going to search also another image acquired on the 10th of February 2017. And again we click find. The second result is added to the list. We can see that this image has a cloud cover in the upper area of the image. We can see here the acquisition date and we are going to mask these clouds later. And the third image that we are going to download is acquired on the 10th February 2018. Then we click find. And the third image is added to the product list. As you can see, this image has a zero cloud cover. So we are going to download all these three images, Sentinel-2 images. We uncheck this uh, setting only if previewing layers. And then we can uh, select in download options also the bands that we are going to use in this tutorial. So we unchecked band 1, band 9 and band 10. Before downloading we need to set also the preprocessing settings for the Sentinel-2 preprocessing. So we check here apply dos one atmospheric correction. So we are going to apply this simple correction. And we also check add bands in a new band set. So we are going to create a new band set for each image that will be added here in the band set list. So we come back to the download products tool 
and we can click run to start the download of the images and we select the output directory. After a while, the downloaded images are uh, loaded in QJS. We can see here the bands in the layers list. So we can uh, hide all these layers. And we can see in the SCP band set, here we can see, we can remove this first empty band set here there are other three band sets that were automatically created uh, during the download and preprocessing. We can see the 2017 images from February and January. We can display the RGB color composite of this uh, band set. Here we select uh, RGB 3 to 1 so we get a natural color composite and this is the color composite of the second band set that is the uh, 2017 image acquired on February we select the band set 1 we can also display the RGB color composite so we switch here the RGB color composite And the color composite of the first band set is displayed here. As you can see, this image acquired in January uh, has uh, less cloud cover than the second image. So we want to uh, mask the cloud cover here in this image. We want to remove these cloudy pixels. So if we uh, open the directory where uh, the original Sentinel-2 bands are downloaded, we can see that there is uh, this file here, named msk-clouds. If we drag and drop here this uh, vector file, we can see that this is a cloud mask. Here we can see that uh, most of the clouds are covered, however there are also clouds that are not covered by this mask. So we can use this vector file to mask the clouds in this uh, image. The first thing is to uh, save this uh, GML file as shape file. So here in QJS we export and save future as a new shape file that we can name uh, clouds for instance. So here we can save this shape file. Now we can convert this vector file to raster so that we can apply the cloud mask to the images. So here in the tool vector to raster we refresh the layer list and we select clouds. Then we set here use custom value 1 so that clouds have a value 1 and then we select any of these bands as a reference raster so the raster are aligned then we click run and select the output file so after a while the cloud mask is uh, created a new raster where clouds uh, have the pixel value 1 you can see here the mask over the image However, there are clouds that are not masked with this raster. So we can, uh, uh, for instance, uh, create a classification of clouds. Or, for instance, we can uh, edit manually this raster, adding these pixels to the mask. So in the SCP tool, we select post-processing edit raster. And here we click refresh and select uh, the mask raster here. Here, this is the input that we are going to edit. And we set here use constant value and we set the value 1. So now, if we draw a polygon here, a Roy polygon, for instance, here, very quickly, I try to select all these clouds. 
And now if, if we click run with this value, we, we set uh, the value of the mask. So we have uh, masked also these pixels. And we can go on with uh, all these other clouds here very quickly. New Roy, and then we click run. And we can see that the mask is updated. So after a while, I have uh, created this mask for clouds. So now we can uh, mask all the Sentinel-2 bands with this tool for processing cloud masking. We can see here the input band set, that is the number of the band set in the band set list. So we can set here the band set 2, that is the 2017 uh, image of February. Then we select the classification, the mask here. And we set the value that identify the clouds that we want to mask, so the value 1. Then we click run and we select the output directory where all the masked bands are saved. For instance here, new directory. And after a while the masked bands are loaded in QJS. So we can mosaic the January and February images. So first we create a new band set here, we add a new band set, and we add to this band set all these uh, masked bands here. So this is the February 2017 image. So this is the band set of the masked bands of February 2017. We set the center wavelength here. Now we are going to mosaic these bands with the image of January 2017. So in the SAP menu, for processing mosaic band sets, we are going to set the input band set here. We can see the number of the band set, so band set 1 is the band set of January 2017 and band set 4 is the band set of the image of February 2017 with the cloud mask. So here in the mosaic band set tool we set the list of band sets that we want to mosaic. So we set here the number 4, comma and 1 and then we click run and select the output directory. After a while, the mosaic bands are added to the map and we can see here that the image gaps of clouds are filled with the image of January 2017. So now we can assess the link cover change between the image of February 2018 and the image mosaic of the February 2017. Here in the Benset tool, we add a new band set where we add the bands of the 2017 mosaic. Here we set the center wavelength, the Sentinel 2 center wavelength. So now we can assess the spectral distance between this band set and this other band set of the image 2018. So the band set 5 and band set 3. So here in the SCP menu we select band processing spectral distance and with this tool we can compare the spectral distance pixel by pixel. We set here the input band set 5 and input band set 3 as we can see here mosaic 2017 and the image of the 2018. We select here the spectral angle mapping algorithm 
for calculating the distance, the angle, and we set here a threshold. We can set here 10 degrees so that a mask of changes will be also created. And then we click Run and we select the output directory. After a while, we can see that two rasters are loaded in QJS. The spectral distance uh, raster, where uh, the distance, the spectral angle is calculated for uh, every pixel. And the spectral distance change with the threshold that we have defined uh, previously. So here the value 1 represents changes in the land cover. Uh, we can see here, for instance, changes in the crop. You can see here green vegetation in the 2017. Uh, so this raster locates the changes, the spectral changes. But of course, for land cover classes, we would need uh, a font interpretation or a semi automatic classification. We can also see changes in the urban land cover here, and new infrastructures, new buildings, changes with an angle uh, greater than 10. Well, we have completed this tutorial. Please remember that you can refer to the user manual of the semi-automatic classification plugin. For any comments or questions, please join the Facebook group or the Google Plus community. Thank you for watching.